a right footed blast. Grealish on sides, comes inside and scores! Grealish announces his entrance onto the Champions League stage. Here's Sterling, it's Danilo, it's Sterling! Manchester City have won it in the seventh minute of stoppage time. But Bournemouth utterly deflated. Well, it's ironic, isn't it, John, that the extra time that Guardiola complains about has helped them possibly win the game. Those extra minutes, those extra seconds that they were suggesting that Bournemouth were taking advantage of injuries. It's been difficult for the referee in the last few minutes, that is for sure. But it's because of that extra time that Sterling has had that opportunity to hit that ball into the net. Almost an own goal, I feel it came through legs. Legovic had no chance. This is Lempardo now as Manchester City build up perhaps their first attack of the game. Pardo. This is Alan Oaks. 20 minutes gone and it's called it. What a goal! What a goal! What a fantastic shot by Colin Bell! Royal. Two minutes to be added on. Strike here. And pace into the net. It's Phil Foden who adds to the scoring on the stroke of half-time. Bill Foden back amongst the goals. The eye of his spot on the edge of the box. Hit it with pace, Stockdale saw it late, couldn't keep a handle on it. Manchester City extend their advantage. Phil Foden with a left-footed strike. He's moving his way through now. Aguero thought sort of about the shot. And space Walker will drive it. Goal! What an absolutely stunning effort from Kyle Walker. 35 yards out. And the fullback drives City back in front with an absolute thunderbolt of a shot out of nowhere. One look up, took aim, and it flew past Martin Dubravka and into the far corner of the net. Stayed in play. Final charge perhaps by Manchester City. Right like Phillips.
quickly and stones. Oh, ho, ho! What a belter of a goal from John Stones. The centre forward turned right back. An amazing strike from John Stones. Back on terms, one touch to control from Stones. A right footed blast. City's first effort on target. And it finds its way past Mayer. Can't really get out on the moment, Charlton. Bart is going to have a dip from out here. Oh, and what a dip it was! Joey Bart, 3 1. Oh, that's special. That's very, very special. And that's why Stuart Pearce is adamant that this kid's going to be part of the future. Because he's not an awful lot on and he's, what, 25 yards from goal? One thought in his mind. Again, Tong don't quite clear the lines and you see picks up, looks wide, nobody's there. Decides to have a go and, well, again, he's past Murray before he can even dive. It's a super strike. Joey Barton for all the things that he might bring negative, he can do this kind of thing. Technically fantastic strike. He gives City a two goal comfort lead in on the inside of the post. David Silva, now Raheem Sterling. De Bruyne. It's Raheem Sterling! That wins titles! Raheem Sterling is the host of the Late Late Show again for Manchester City. And if they are to lift the Premier League trophy high in May, that could be a pivotal moment that they look back upon. Well, it's like a footballing pipe pipe, but here Raheem Sterling is strike is from Sterling and how many times he's come up with the goods for City recently is quite incredible. But Southampton just step off him when he goes to shoot. You can't afford to do that. They don't close him down quickly enough. Yoshida doesn't get there but it's such a composed finish right at the death of Raheem Sterling. It is sensational. There's no way Force is going to keep this out. City haven't been at their best but when they've got Raheem Sterling there is always a chance of winning the game. Absolutely brilliant finish.